Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scrubo here on the road at the Z to Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I'm here in uh, Wilmington at my mom's house, uh, Illuminata, my birth mom. And uh, it's been a long time since I've been able to come down because of COVID and the like. So it's really good to be here. It's really good to see her. Uh, we're looking at a memorial to my sister, Patty, who passed away in 2018. Uh, she was young. I think she might have been 54. No, not quite 54 when she passed, 53. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful girl, beautiful soul. Uh, tiny, like a bird, like my mother, but fierce and mighty. I'm, off, I'm often, uh, she reminds me of a hummingbird really. Um, always moving, beautiful, uh, but don't mess with her territory because she will let you know. <laughs> uh, my mom put uh, some balls on this tree next to it, probably for her. Um, although she's not here in, in uh, body, she's certainly here in spirit. I can feel her all over the place. Uh, today is January 6th, and it is a Friday, and today is the full moon in Cancer. I was hoping to get a view of the moon last night, but as you can see, very cloudy here. And I know I was talking to Ona, and uh, she also was having uh, missing the moon. But even though we can't see the moon, we can feel it. You know, that's the way the moon is, easy to feel not always easy to see when the clouds are there so it is the um i guess anniversary of the insurrection very interesting that uh on a certain level we're still being held um hostage to that and of course uh the people holding the house hostage here in america are the same people who were involved in the insurrection so how does that work Thank you, Kevin McCarthy. You're getting what you deserve, aren't you? So let's get out of the realm of politics and just kind of talk about uh, what's going on with this moon. Uh, the moon, of course, is in Cancer. Cancer is very, uh, very comfortable. Uh, the moon's very comfortable in Cancer. It's, it's, it's quite, sort of in its nature. The sun in Capricorn um, illuminating the structures of things illuminating reality and the moon in cancer is 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 revealing the feeling that is all squared by chiron and aries chiron and aries can be the wound of narcissism the wound of only considering your point of view and not others um, among other things we've talked about uh, chiron and aries for years now and we'll continue to talk about it but uh, it is square the the full moon uh, axis so we will see uh, a full display of people being way too selfish for everybody else's good however uh, there is a change the change is coming uh, we can feel it we or we're hoping for it anyway but what can happen um, we're going to really see things move very quickly at the beginning of the year um, and then I think by April, we're going to feel a, sh a, a profound shift um, and we'll get a glimpse as to what's ahead for us. And then we're going to have to retreat back a little bit and and uh, clean up the mess. But uh, we'll have vision. We'll have vision. Today, the vision is how you feeling? <laughs> what are you aware of? What reality do you need to deal with? And... Uh, how can you heal um, yourself? How can you be yourself to the best of your ability so that you can take on the challenges that lie ahead? And of course, your authentic self is really the only one that has any energy. So you have to find it and then you have to shine it. Um, it's a great time for reading. If you wanted a reading, it's a seven year. It's about introspection. But um and, and finding the light within and finding your purpose. It's a year of purpose. It's a year of standing still and moving forward very quickly. So it is a year of the chariot. So it's time to get your horses all 
uh, set up on a chariot <laughs> and then decide what direction you're going and then go for it. If you want to know more about this particular full moon, check out Ona's channel, Ona's Tarot. Uh, we did a moonshine episode uh, yesterday and I thought it was pretty good. Um, it was really nice. It was really nice. We're getting, I think we're getting this moon shadow moonshine thing down pretty good now. So, uh, and I think it's only about a half hour this time. So <laughs> you don't have to give up an afternoon. To listen to us. <laughs> All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, we're going to see a couple more. We're going to continue on our journey here, although the weather's not really all that nice. Um, I'll, I'm still gonna, uh, I think we're gonna go singing tonight and my mother wants me to sing. So I don't know, like, I, I, I will sing, but um, her husband Michael will probably be in charge of the video, so that's a little bit of a crapshoot. So I don't know if you're gonna see it or not, but uh, if not, I'll sing to you. Uh, I'll sing to you again, okay? <laughs> all right, guys, take care. Much love. Namaste.